Hello Dublin, East Dublin, and all our viewers all over Middle Georgia, Newswatch 35 is straight ahead. This past weekend, it was clogging all over Lawrence County as the Georgia Clogging Association came to Dublin for their annual convention. I have with me Danielle Pedrazic with the Clogger, Georgia Clogger Association, and we're excited y'all here in Dublin. Well, we are super excited to be here in Dublin, and it's been such a wonderful experience. You guys have been so hospitable. It's been great to actually be back at Theater Dublin after a long hiatus, <laughs> so we're super excited. What brought you back? Um, well, we went all over the state trying to find a central location for everybody, and we just had such a good experience previously with Theater Dublin um, that we um, knew we wanted to use them for the competition, and then when we toured the Porter Center, it was fantastic, and we just fell in love with it, and so it, we brought it here. And actually, y'all have been doing workshops. Is that right all day? We, Tell me what that consists we of. We did. Um, we've had our clogging convention all day. So from 9 to 5, we were dancing. We had three rooms of instruction, all levels of clogging, hip-hop, jazz. Um, and everybody's been dancing all day and sweating. We've had instructors from Michigan all the way for, to Florida coming in to, tell you, to teach. So. Well, I'm going to tell you, we do a lot of local programming. We did a show a few months ago with a local uh, uh, senior citizens clogging group. Oh, cool! And I want to tell you, we got more calls, so more DVDs. Absolutely. To those ladies clogging, so it's very popular. Uh, and you mentioned hip hop and some other things, so it's not what maybe I grew up with. No, contemporary clogging is kind of a melting pot. That's the nice thing about clogging is it's progressive. So your contemporary clogging is going to incorporate some other styles of dance. And then we do still have a lot that do your traditional drag slide and flat foot clogging. So. Okay, tell me drag slide. Explain to the viewers what we're talking about. Um, drag slide clogging is where you're standing flat on your foot, and so as your one foot is dancing, the other foot is pulling back and pushing forward. So everything, your whole movement is going up and down as you're dancing. Okay. So that's kind of what clogging, your traditional, that's what people think of when they think of clogging is that up and down movement. What if we're, somebody watching us right now always wanted to clog, think it's too hard what would you say to encourage that person um, I say that clogging is the form of dance that anybody can do and we actually have a lot of adults um, if you go to a clogging workshop oftentimes it's 75 percent adults 25 percent kids but there's at least usually 50 percent adults it's fun it's about having your own style and it's more it's a social dance so you get to meet a lot of people and just give it a try everybody can do it and now let's take a look at some of the competition from all over the southeastern United States.
speed, maneuverability and reliability are just some of the things that make a championship race car. They're also some of the things that make one of the nation's best lawnmowers. I always expect high performance on the racetrack, and it's no different when it comes to high performance on my lawn. Hi, I'm Richard Petty. Visit your local Gravely dealer today. Gravely lawnmowers are the only mowers allowed at Petty's Garage. Yeah. Nice job, ladies. <laughs> I mean, 
Bank. Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, located at 605 Bellevue Avenue, right across from the Dublin Post Office. Centrally located for all of Lawrence County to bank with us. I'm Chuck Harwell, Executive Vice President. I would like to personally invite you to come take a tour of our bank to enjoy the new banking technology we can provide with teller pods, ATM machines, safe deposit box, and extended drive through lanes. The banking service that you will receive at our bank is equal to none in town. You will see the difference when you walk in that front door. We use common sense banking approach in every decision we make. Banking the way it used to be. Community. 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 Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We are Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, the bank that service built. Thank you. 
Hey, you got one of those insurance apps too? You know how this thing works? No, sorry. Not an app, it's my agent. In this moment... No, I'm fine, thanks. It's good to know you have a trusted, independent auto owner's insurance agent who's there when you need them. Great. Man, I gotta get one of those. Auto owner's insurance. The no problem people. See your insurance, your auto owner's agent at 904 Bellevue Avenue in Dublin or call 272-0915. I'm glad to have with me today Elvis Presley right here live in Dublin. And, of course, you were here just a few months ago, wasn't you? Yes, sir. We did a show called Christmas with the King. Uh, Dublin's a very special place. I was actually presented with the key to the city last Mm -hmm. time I was here. That's right, Mayor Phil Beth. Yes, sir. Yeah, hard to beat a key to the city now. I know. That tells you we love you. I was hoping it fit the vault. But it didn't. Wrong. Not Bank of Dudley, right? <laughs> That's right. It don't That's right. fit. That's right. And you're going to be coming back July 17th. July the 17th, we're doing a tour called Chasing the Dream Tour. Uh, this is basically my two-year anniversary of being in the industry, and we're mm-hmm. going to start right here in Dublin. Then we're going to move to Evans, Georgia, and then to Spindale, North Carolina. Well, there's a lot of Elvis impersonators. Yes, sir. But you actually have the, I mean, you don't really have on, I'm standing here with you, you don't have on a mask or makeup. You actually resemble Elvis Presley. Thank you. And that's a compliment. I appreciate that. Yeah, I I try to do, you know, with my tribute, what I want to go out on stage and do is pay the most respectful, authentic tribute that I can. Reason being is because Elvis deserves that. Amen. He's the greatest entertainer of all time. Yep. You know, there's no argument with that. No, <laughs> and everybody loves Elvis. And I even told you off the air a while ago, you got to be communist <laughs> right, <laughs> if you don't right. love Elvis. Right. And no matter what he's saying, and I told you, my favorite was Suspicious Minds. Right. But think about it. How great thou art. American Trilogy. Oh, uh, our Way. I Did It My Way. I mean, just song after song after song. Right. And he could sing gospel music as good or better than anybody I've ever heard. I think he, I agree 100%. And I think when he did his gospel stuff, he just could give you a feeling that every word he sung, he believed. You know, gospel, he won two Grammys. He had yeah. songs like Suspicious Minds, um, Hound Dog, Joe mm-hmm. House Rock, all those great songs that everybody remembers, but he won two Grammys. And those were for gospel songs. You know, so, I mean, he, he was just amazing. He yeah. could have sung Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, it wouldn't. It went, yeah, you know, it, it don't matter. You're right, right. Right. So, what actually got you doing this? You know, I've been a fan. Uh, my mom and dad uh, used to play Elvis for me. I was about five years old. There's actually a video of me doing where my grandma had me. I'm serious. <laughs> grandma had made me a suit, and uh, my mom and her had had sewn all of the uh, the little sequins on it. So we, uh, at five years old, I used to watch Elvis all the time. Aloha from Hawaii. That was my favorite oh, show. Yeah. Still is today. My favorite show, you know, and and I told my mother one day. I said, one day I'm gonna do a Elvis show. I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna get a, you know, a, a professional costume made, and I did, and and fell in love with it. You know, I've always been a fan. You know, even when I did other shows, I do Elvis stuff in the middle of it, mm-hmm. and I uh, finally got back into it, and it's it's been a blessing. You know, I've had the most fun ever doing it. And it's hard to pick a favorite song, even though I'll say that's my favorite. And then you hear another song, you say, well, I right. love that one, too. But what about you? What, what's well, your favorite? Well, there's, there's a lot of different uh, different areas. Like, my favorite song is My Way. Mm. Uh, I think Elvis just told a story in that song. He believed, you know, when he sung it, that everything he was saying mm-hmm. he could relate to. Uh, my favorite song to do on stage is American Trilogy. Uh. You know, and then there's songs that you don't really hear a lot, like I'm Leaving. 
That's another one of my mm-hmm. favorites. So it's hard to say you have a favorite, but That's I have right. different yeah. <laughs> different favorites, if that makes sense. How does it feel up there when you actually get on stage and you're, you're – you know, you are Elvis. Mm-hmm. I know mentally you right. you you take over that uh, persona. Mm-hmm. How does it feel up there? You know, it's a blessing. It really is. Uh, from where I came from at five and going, I didn't ever say. Well, you say you want to be Elvis. You don't really want to be Elvis. Right, you right. just want to have that ability mm-hmm. to be able to. You know, Elvis. All he had to do was walk on stage. He didn't have to sing a note. Mm-hmm. All he had to do was smile, and he had you in the palm of his hand. Mm-hmm. So. The entertainment part of it, that's what I wanted to do. So when you get up there and you're actually paying tribute to him and you try to feel, it's just it's just a blessing. You, mm-hmm. It's hard to explain. Like when you're doing American Philly, you just get chill bumps because everybody mm-hmm. stands and you see the reaction and you think, I wonder how he felt. Uh, and that music. It's and, amazing. Yeah, the build and no. the end with the flute and everything. Oh. It's it's amazing. <clears throat> so, you know, and, and that's every night on stage. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like the bonding moment because you and the crowd – Number one is everybody in that building has one thing in common, and they're the biggest fans of Elvis Presley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I feel the same as they do. And when I'm singing American Trilogy, it, I can picture me at five years old sitting on the bed watching Aloha mm. and chills go up, you mm. know, down my arms because I think, yeah, I remember this. Like and yesterday. I'm, right, mm-hmm. right. So it's, it's a bonding moment between me and the audience there. You know, and I put the cape on. You can spread the – if you're wearing a Aloha suit, mm-hmm. the American Eagle cape. And it's just a moment that you can't really uh, – you can't really explain it. It's just one of those feelings that you're sitting there and you see it. For the people, you know, what I want to do is maybe there's a kid in the audience that's five or six years old. Mm-hmm. And they go, wow, who's Elvis? So then they go – they see me. Mm-hmm. But then they go and they look up Elvis. And, they, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they're huge Elvis fans. They don't have to be Travis Powell fans. I That's appreciate right. it if they are. That's right. But then they know who Elvis is. Yeah. You know, and then for the people that did get to see Elvis, I mean, there's people that are honest that seen him 50 times. Mm-hmm. But they go, man. And, yeah, and, and, and for a moment, yeah. I take them back to when they seen him in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Or, and they remember or that. Or Macon or wherever That's he right, was Macon, at. They, re- yeah. they remember and they go, oh, man, I was at that show. Mm-hmm. And they know I'm not Elvis. But for that brief yeah. two hours, yeah, they can sit back, forget about today's problems mm-hmm. and enjoy their sale you know so, so that's, that's you're talking about a basically a two-hour show basically a two-hour okay. show and, and for those that didn't come in december mm-hmm. what what can we expect as fans well we're going to do a tribute to the 50s um then we're going to do some 68 mm-hmm. and then of course we'll do the 70s so you get a little touch of everything we're going to have change of habit tribute band with us out of chicago illinois wow a great band um, so it's going to be a high energy show, and it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So don't miss it. Okay, July seventeenth. What July time? July seventeenth, seven o'clock. Seven at one show. Uh, yes, sir. One show, seven o'clock theater, Dublin. Yes, sir. Great venue, great acoustics, great place to perform. Oh, yeah. It's just, and growing up here, that was our theater, you know. Right. And and obviously, you've seen how well they've redone that. So. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you deserve the key to the city. I Thank mean, you. I we love Elvis and uh, Travis. You do a great job. Thank you so uh, much. We got to record it back in December and, and obviously aired some of it, but right. and want to do the same here. Absolutely. Uh, of course, we're not going to air it right after. Now you got to go. You got to purchase the tickets. We're not going to play that. That's and right. then later on we'll that's do it. That's right. Maybe in August. There you, you go. Know, That'll work. Yeah. For Elvis week. That's right. There we go. Yeah, we, we'll you know what August is. Don't yes, you? absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to pull one on him, didn't I? <laughs> okay, Travis. Good job, and we want Thank you to be there. Uh, you heard at 7 o'clock, July the 17th, Theater Dublin. You, you do not want to miss this miss show. And that's going to do it for our newscast here in downtown Dublin. Thank you to all the cloggers who came this past weekend. We cannot wait to have you back here in Dublin.